Hello and welcome back to Cardboard Decoy Plays Valda Story Abyl Abyssal City. I'm going to go ahead and level up really quick because we can. Um, I still kind of want to get a strength 10, but I am getting to the point where, well, I get hit points that way. If I do luck, I get attack, magic, and crit plus 10 hit points. That's pretty good. We're going to go ahead and put a point in luck because that gave us a pretty substantial uh, health boost, which is what I wanted. And then we can also get this. When not in combat, that's also super valuable, I imagine. Um, health management seems like something I should pay more attention to on average. So let's go ahead and... Yep, you're dead. Sweet. Uh, I drop from the skies uh, and steal all their pies. Motherfuckers come strap and I hit them with my gad. I'm not a rapper, but I think of stuff on the crapper that I think could be cool. I'm never doing that again. That's a lie. Goodbye. Uh, whoop. There we go. Boost mode. Let's see how this works out. Uh, not great. Okay. I'm like, this should like improve my odds of survival here, right? It does look like I'm taking less damage, which seems like a pretty reasonable reason to uh, use it as often as possible. But uh, yeah, I realize like boost mode. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, locked by a magic spell. Um, oh, oh, there's poison there. I don't want to stay down there. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There is a boss on them there, hills. So this guy sucks. I remember taking like 15 different tries at this. Um, let's see. Oh, goody. I was getting bored of this post. It's been so long since I've had flesh to melt. Uh, I just had to read that because, you know, demon voices. Uh, okay, this guy is awful, and I have not saved in a while, so hopefully you don't have to see me backtrack a whole bunch. I'm going to try to avoid that as much as possible. Oop. Yeah, there we go. Spells work. Oh, except I'm out of mana, which is unfortunate at best. Oh my god. Oh, this is bad. Okay, let's get out of there. Alright, cool. And I have no MP. That's not so great. Alright, I've got to wait for openings to jump. And, yeah, okay, so that blue bar has to do with special defensive abilities, it looks like. Alright, I just need to be careful, because apparently, yeah, these... Okay, there's these little gold... Or not gold, but there are these little bright lights that fly around and then become vines that I need to avoid, like that! Okay, there we go. I don't know if you saw that, but there was one right there. Alright, there's another one. Alright... I'm doing okay on the dodges. Could always be better. Uh, but I'm doing pretty decent. Okay. I don't remember at all how this fight is supposed to go. Okay, wow, he just drops those little shiny things all over the place. And I think that was the predominantly what was killing me all the time whenever I played this boss before. Oh, yeah, not paying attention to those vines is bad. Being poisoned is super bad. Um, okay, and falling down here is, of course, not ideal. Oh my god. Alright, there's one potion. That's... Oh my god! Okay. Well, I've got him down to... Okay! This is... Real crap. Alright. Okay. He's gonna heal. And... Watching for the little stars or whatever you want to call it. Alright. Yeah, this guy is tough. He's not particularly easy. Alright. Whoa. Alright, now I need to find him. Try to take as little damage as possible in the process. Alright. Get over here. Avoid stuff. As I get closer to him. Watch for bright shinies. Whoa, easy. That could have been really bad. There's a bright shiny right there. Okay, okay. I got the dodges. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is... Okay, yeah, now I remember exactly why I hated this level before, and it was because of this boss. This boss was seriously the bane of my existence, but now that I'm actually being calm and thinking about it... This is one of the rare instances where, like, recording videos actually makes me better at it, because I'm like, oh my god, there's no way I could fight this, like, a hundred times in a row, and that be an acceptable video. Okay. Okay. Easy, easy, easy. And there we go, I got poisoned to death. Ah, that spinning attack is no good. Okay, I might have spoken too soon. Stand by. 
Okay. But no, this guy took me, like, an ungodly number of tries before I beat him. Alright, let's see what his attack is going to be. Do... Okay, there we go. That's fine. You can do that. Just long... I'm waiting for him to do the spin, throw poison in the air thing. There we go. Because now I can feel pretty safe about approaching him. Okay, he's teleporting a lot, so I need to play maybe a little aggressively. Ah, you bastard. Okay. Whoa. This is kind of... I was talking about this, or I barely touched on the subject in my last video. Like, you know, there's some game design decisions I would have done differently if it were me. And this is one of them where, like, your window to hit him is getting narrower um, after you do X amount of damage to him. And all it does is just get really frustrating because you don't trust standing next to him for any length of time. There we go. BBF. Okay, not too bad. Uh, 30 experience. Um, but like, yeah, it's just, the opening is so tight to actually be able to sit and hit him that it's just, I'm gonna wait until he tries to heal himself, because that's the only time I know I'm not gonna take damage. Still, I survived, and I am very proud of myself for that, and I did not use boost mode, even though maybe I should have just a little bit. Okay, and a Lordus tier, there we go, now we can save our friend, hooray! So this dungeon is done, I'm gonna finish out this video. Oh, oh, yep, yep, you're dead. Um, you're dead. Yeah, everybody's dying left and right. Whoa. Oh, bitches try to front me and I bring the fight. Oh, what's up, spitting fire, yo? Um, yeah, no. Should stop. But I can't, man. I'm addicted to the game. Um, okay. Whoa. Don't hate the rapper. Hate the shit that he says constantly that's kind of annoying. Um, yeah, I, you know, I can... I, I can only afford someone else of my caliber that much. What can I say? Uh, I'm very earnest about my position on these things. Okay. Jesus. Yeah, there's, there's a little bit of optimization I would do with the D-pad sensitivity there if I knew how to. Or, you know, didn't feel like, well, whatever, man, get good. Um, there's also maybe a tiny bit of that just ingrained in my system that keeps me from accepting help or uh, good ideas for myself. I don't think I even use that many spells either, which is probably not the greatest of ideas. Uh, yeah, let's do this. I don't know what the difference between like red and yellow rooms are. Um, there's probably some significance there I'm missing out on, but I have no idea what that could be. Alright. And... Whoop. I stunned him, but then, like, there was no follow-up, so now I feel kind of dumb. Ah, God, so much poison. I hate poison levels. Like, worse than water temples, or water levels, or drowning one-hit kill, pitfall levels, everything else. I hate poison levels. Poison levels are the worst. Um, I'm trying to think... God, is it, is it in Dark Souls? I can't remember. They, I, I remember there being uh, a level in a game that was, like, predominantly poison-related. And it was just, like, absolute torture to try to go through. It was just like, why do I do this to myself? This is terrible. This is so bad. Okay. We got refills on everything, which is always a plus. And we're back at the Central Skyway. Um, and now... Wait, I'm experimenting with combos. Yeah, again, there's the power hit that I almost never use, and I probably should... I'm trying to figure out how I can combo in from one thing to another. Okay, so... I can add a, a strong attack at the end of three smaller attacks. But after that, going back and forth isn't really a thing. Not in the way you would assume it would be. Um, it's just coming from uh, my thoughts on uh, Monster Hunter combos, which is kind of fun to do whenever you discover your uh, infinite combo for different weapons. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm treating this like a, a longsword in uh, Monster Hunter. And uh, it kind of works. It's, it's almost there. But if I knew what the infinite combo maneuver was for it, that would be like a hundred times better. And uh, yeah, you know, maybe someday I'll figure that out, but I'm not that invested in it. I do pretty good with just mashing buttons and uh, being done with it. There we go. Okay, we're going to save again. And how much time do we have left? We got another 10 minutes. That's cool. That's enough time to move this plot along and see what our next mission is.
Okay, I think we want to be here. Is that right? Yeah, there we go. You're back! Have you found the Lordest here? Yeah, I got it. Are you sure it will work? I'll prepare it now! He's lucky you were around, thank you. Yeah, I know, it's kind of a goofy voice, but I'm trying to mix it up. He's part of my crew. I got us into this. Only seems fair that I get us out. That reminds me! Elder Brea wanted to speak to you when you got back. The medicine will take some time to work. You can check up on Va Vladen yet later. Vladen... Where's uh, the Elder was at the bottom of the map? They probably moved, of course. Yeah, they're not at the bottom of the map anymore. Ugh. I hate that. It's like, oh yeah, go talk to the Elder. Well, my only reference as to where the Elder was was over here like an hour ago. And now where are they? Totally different spot on the map. And I'm not going to tell you where. Thanks! See, these little subtle things about the game design that I'm like, yeah, you could have optimized them. I, I mean, spilled milk or not, it's just sort of like, eh. Good, you're back. One of our patrol guards at Angels are trying to set up camp in the library. I want you to go there and get rid of them before they dig their heels in. Why do the elders in the city think I'm their personal errand runner? Claudia told me you're looking for your friends, right? I have the only key to the library. You don't need to check everywhere for them, do you? Just give me the key. Thanks, you're a real peach. The library is east below the gardens. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I kind of went off the rails a little bit there, but uh, whatever. Actually, no. That's that red. You see that red room on the right? That's where we want to head to, so uh, let's go back here. Yeah, over here. Cool. And we're safe again because I'm chicken shit. And I don't want to go through cutscenes again if the worst happens all of a sudden. Um, hmm. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to the library, and the library, as I had said in the last video? In one of the videos. Uh, yeah, probably the last video, since we were finishing up that dungeon in uh, this video. Um, I mentioned that it was going to become our outpost. You're going to find out exactly what I mean by that very shortly here. Oh, oh hey, easy. Okay, and you, crazy Medusa Feral. I don't know what it's supposed to be, aside from the... Ah! Okay, you are like a million times worse than the frozen ladies from Castlevania. Alright, you also kind of suck. There we go. And off we go this way. No bosses to fight, fantastic. I remember those guys being a lot harder. I guess, uh, I don't know, maybe I have kind of honed my platforming skills since then. But, uh, alright, this is the library. It's very... It's got this interesting... It's got the same color scheme as... Um, God, what is it called? The Secret Dungeon from Etrian Odyssey. Uh, whoop, whoop. It's not the Crimson Hollows, is it? Is it the Crimson Hollows? Or no, it's the Claret Hollows. That's right. Um, hey, level 7. Sweet stuff. Not bad. I was going to jump in, but I figured you had it under control. Is that Vladen? Vladen! You're awake! How? They said the Lordest Tear worked faster than they expected. Shame there are more of those flowers around, eh? Elder said I could find my friend out here in the library. I didn't know we were friends, Wyatt. That is so sweet. I like you better unconscious. Ha! Alright, I'll take a look around, shall we? I like that, jackass friends. Uh, man, just look at this place. Most of these books must be centuries old. Probably. That's all you have to say? These books are from before the war. Information that hasn't been tampered with by the gods. You think that's why angels were coming here? Hard to say. Ancient maps, spells, they could have been searching for any number of things. Well, they had the right idea about setting up shop. I want... I... I want you to stay here. You probably wanted to look through all the books anyway. I'll send all of any of my crew I find back here to you. Rest of the crew, huh? We both know you're really only looking for Reyna. If we both know that, then what was the point of opening your mouth about it? She's okay, you know. Fail and won't let anything happen to her. One more thing. Some weird girl back in Haruk say she wanted to see you. She said meet her at the tram station. Okay, so here we go. I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. This is basically where we can go and read all of the fluff on everything. Honest Davian. Eh, interesting. Boris. Walter. You do have, like, this really colorful crew. Like, let's see. Conte coming soon. Demon Assassin. Um, yeah, there's definitely kind of this... Uh, that's right. Oh, that's right. You're seeing all the stuff from my previous playthrough, so you're totally getting like spoilers on some of this. Tengu Jadarunad, Distan, the Judicator. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's open across multiple gameplays. That's good to know. Where Gwibnu? 
Oh yeah, that fight sucked. Coming soon, okay, cool. Um, there's definitely this framework of like multiple games. Like it already feels like there was probably a prequel or at least a story that would apply as a prequel. Because like all of these characters are pretty well fleshed out. Like that's kind of the strong suit of this game is that there's this implied history that you're kind of wondering at the whole time. And I don't know if there was like a previous game. I mean, you Google Valda's story, this is the only thing that comes up, right? The first thing that comes up. And I can't say I've done a lot of research because I haven't even finished this game yet. I haven't had the chance to like sell my soul to the franchise. So it's kind of, as far as I'm concerned, a little up in the air about whether or not, uh, you know, there's going to be sequels or prequels or uh, duo death sequels, uh, you know, things like that. Could be very interesting, but as of right now, I like don't have any information on that but it definitely seems like they could do something with it same thing with uh oh yeah there's the guy we found earlier way ahead of time uh is this what is this but it could also be a um kickstarter campaign sort of thing our presence will eventually draw the attention of all the demons and angels in this city by that time they realize it it will already be too late for them ha huh? talking shit um yeah, I, I figure there's probably a fair number of these characters that were actually Kickstarter backers that did, like, you know, some god-awful amount of money that uh, got the game finished, and so their contribution is met with being a character, which is usually explains a lot of fleshed-out characters. I'm trying to think. Ah, excellent timing. I take it you've dealt with the angels in, this a in the area. Yeah, but what are you doing up here? Avoiding the angels was easy enough, but those strange creatures down there were a different story. The people living here call them ferals. I don't know it makes what to make of them yet. Vladen and I have secured the library. We'll be gathering the crew here. Very good. I'll be heading back inside then. Alright, we'll go... Uh, Deboris, lock by device. Yeah, okay, cool. And then that's time. Um, we're gonna go back and uh, see what his deal is. Because I think he gives you abilities? Something like that? I'm not entirely sure. We're gonna find out. Um, oh yeah, I need to level up, don't I? We're going to end up spending all of our mind dicking around with this, and then I'll probably save right there and then end it. But, uh, you know, that's neither here nor there at the moment. Increases armor. Uh, fist weapon attacks from... First weapon attack from stealth. Uh, bleed. Do I want any of these? I kind of want some of these. Power by 10. Max mana. Let's do that. Increases mana regeneration. No, not so much. Uh, well, we might do that in the end. But I do like having my healing available to me. Alright, let's go ahead. We're going to stay on point to get to attack 10. And then we'll start worrying about other skills. Um, I was talking about something pertinent. Now I have no idea what it was. I totally lost, tra lost track. Uh, where are you, Deborisk? I think it was his name. Deborisk, Debelisk, Debelik, Dorlush, Dor, Dor. I'm just going to say like random semi-Russian words. Ah, there we go. Deborsk. You know some promise with light magic. Oh, you show some promise with light magics, but you have not yet reached your full potential. Ah, we can buy uh, Soul of the Saint Lord, Holy Magic Soul, specializing in recovery. So I can buy spells. That's handy. Uh, we need a spell lantern and a grand agate. Agate, whatever. I have no idea how you would pronounce that. Let's go ahead and uh, go talk to the lady about the tram and open up our fast travel, and then uh, that's where I'll end this video and uh, subsequently this recording session, but not that you care about that. Um, yeah, that's, uh, shit, of course, what was I talking about before that? I know, I was talking about the sequels and prequels in here, and then, uh, I was talking about Kickstarter backers, and how cool those people are, but, yeah, um, oh, what, the game I was thinking of, I guess Shovel Knight is the only real accessible, uh, idea I have on that, but, like, uh, Shovel Knight has characters that were put in there by the uh, wolf Kickstarter backers. Uh, that's interesting. Is that a demon? I'm not entirely sure what's going on with this picture here. Am I... Whoa. I'm gonna kill Kung Lao here. Is that his name? I was like stressing over it. I even like rewatched the video and I was like, I'm not gonna look him up just so I can be like, oh yeah, it's that guy. You okay, Gilda? I'll live! I thought I saw Vladen come this way, but I was cut off by these featherheads before I could catch up. Vladen is at the library east of here. I'll be gathering the crew there. Have you seen Reyna? No, I haven't seen Goldilocks. Why are you asking? You think you have a thing for her or something? Don't start with me, Gilda. Just head to the library and keep a lookout for the crew. Alright, so now we have a Gilda. Uh, 
whatever that's worth. And see, there's this whole, like, implied chemistry or relationship or whatever you want to call it between those two characters. You have no idea why. They could have been traveling together for ages, but there's, like... The characters really are pretty well fleshed out, I think. I really like the personality that they all have. Um, ooh, wow, there we go. Um, even though some of them tend to be kind of generic, like, they're predictable. There's probably a... TV Tropes article specifically pulled or uh, accessed to craft them in some cases, I would think. Um, and they all have that kind of level of edge to them that, you know, you can take or leave in some cases. But, uh, you know, otherwise I really do like the personality in this game. I think it's kind of interesting. Alright, so we need to go talk to this lady about the fast travel. A doo -ba -doo. Ah, there you are, Chief. I finally got her up and running. Just step right in and we'll take you across the city in no time. If you happen to find other tram stations, all you have to do is resync the tram route. Looks like the one in Tagrim is already up. Why don't you give it a go? So, here we go. I walk in. I press the jump key. I don't know if that was actually necessary or not. But let's pretend that it was. And then I'm going to go find this safe spot. Uh, you're back! I can't thank you enough for getting the tram running. Did you have any luck finding your friends? Some. But more are still out there. Hmm. Maybe you should check Isk. 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 How do you pronounce that? Like, technically. It's the next closest town to the west. I'm going with you. I'll help you find your crew. It's the least I could do. Coming with me? So the Elder still doesn't trust me. He sent you to keep an eye on me. What? No, it's not like that at all. It's obvious, really. If he didn't tell you, or it's either because he didn't trust you, or you're a terrible liar. And he needs you to be convincing, so he kept you in the dark. Watch what you say! My grandfather wouldn't keep anything a secret from me. Settle down. It's not a big deal. I wouldn't trust me either in his position. Anyway, you say this other town and to the west? If you're coming with me, you better keep up. I don't want you slowing me down. Alright, Adeline has joined the crew. What's up? I believe we can actually go into equip. Yeah, we can go to assist here. And now we can pick Adeline or Shadow Boxer. Shadow Boxer. Hi, I'm Shadow Boxer. Uh, do, 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 do. Launches blades, inflict bleeding on crit. Launches lightweight enemies. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's good. I'm just going to pick whatever appeals to me at that particular instant. Okay, how do I get back up here? Doesn't appear they're going to make it super easy. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we're going to beeline our way back over to the save point. If we can get there. I don't know if it'll let us. I think there's a big honking enemy in the way. That could be a thing that I remember happening. But, uh, I guess we'll see. Let's see. Ooh, what's our situation? Uh, we should have a door immediately to the left. And I think this is on the way to Isk anyway, so... Okay. Hello, chandelier. And, yes, here we go. There we go. Ah, there's a destroyable wall there. And I'm going to completely ignore the clefts they intentionally left in the wall there. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm going to kill them just because. All the monsters are significantly stronger now. That's cool. I want a save point. Just give me the most easily accessible save point that you can. Ah, shit. I just triggered a fight, didn't I? I did. Come on, you ugly bastard. Let's dance. Uh, can I run? No. Sealed by magic. The Yeti. Uh, also a really great t-shirt website. Well, not spelled like that, obviously. Maybe that was just a really sad attempt at uh, making a uh, reference to something. Whoop. All right, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Oh, oh, I don't know what I want to be doing here. What's the what's the strategy? Just hack, whoop, dodge, hack some more. Uh, that button. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to summon the guy. Oh, I should have dodged that, but I didn't. Oh, you know what? I totally have, uh, boost mode here. Whoa! Damn! Dude, uppercutted the shit out of me. There we go. Just need to react and dodge appropriately. And I didn't do it right then. But that's okay. I've got a couple potions. I should be okay. Maybe. Oh, okay. That's got quite the range on it. I need to keep that in mind. Okay. Okay. This is bad. Uh, we might be resetting a little bit, in which case I'll just end the video and then catch up where I was supposed to be. Okay, this is bad. It's not going my way at all. Maybe I should have a few more levels before I try to fight this guy. Or... can I run this way? I didn't check this door. 
you never know. You never know what they have built in, assuming different play styles and whatnot and strategies, so. Whoop. Okay. That was bad. Ah, oh, yeah, that's right. I have to just be off the floor for that. Okay, let's go ahead and... Uh, no, I'm not even going to load. Um, I'm just going to call it... Well, no, I am going to load, obviously. I just went ahead and did it. But um, let, me, let me see. I'm curious as to where it actually sets you after you die. Like, does it save a bunch of... No, okay, so I've got to go through all those other events. I'll just... Uh, I'll get to the correct door that I'm supposed to go to, and that'll be where I start the next video. So, either way, this has been Cardboard Decoy playing Val the Story of Vessel City. If you've enjoyed, please do like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, whenever we come back, we'll go over to... Ishk, 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 Ishk makes a lot of sense now that I look at it. I'm an idiot. Anyways, until then, have fun.